Hi, I'm Saina Inc. and this is Casual Sketching Friday, episode 6, Colored Leds. These leds were sent to me by Eve. She have a really great YouTube, YouTube channel here, I will link it in below. And as you can see here, my Moleskine sketchbook is falling apart and I have to tape it together with this really bright washi tape. But on today's topic, which is colored leds. I often use colored leds when I sketch because they are much smoother than graphite and often they don't smear as much because in sketchbook graphite often smears and it's like transfers for the other pages. So that's one reason why I prefer to use colored leds. And I have here uh, Unilet, which is really nice, it's really smooth and erases beautifully. I really like to use it. And I have also here uh, Prismacolor, Prismacolor color erases, which have these erasers. And I have personally found out that it's much easier to control value when using colored LEDs than using regular LEDs. Colored LEDs tends to be a little softer than graphite, so they don't damage the paper even if it's pressed hard. But for main advantages for me is that my sketchbook won't look this like powering grayscale thing. It have these colored things, and I really like how these colored LEDs blend. They often blend in my option better better than graphite, and I have no need to use like blending stamps or anything extra thing is. Uh, often normal colored pencils aren't erasable, but these color erasers are, and also these LEDs are erasable. Uh, I have also Pilot Colorino, which are erasable, but Pilot Colorino's colors are really pale, they are like pastel-like pastel colors, and they don't show up well on. I also like to use colored LEDs when I study some subject, like when I do perspective studies, I usually draw perspective lines with blue, and then draw my sketch with red or normal graphite. And sometimes I even may use three colors, like when doing anatomy studies, I draw bone at the one color and uh, muscles at the one color, color and then the rest of the sketch with third color. That's really good way to divide different parts and make some depth, depth into drawings. Here I used my phone to watch uh, References. I used Pixabay, which is this free service for photos, and there is some good photos, but some bad photos, and they are like copyright free, so they are okay to use in artwork. And I find there some, uh, there are really good selection of portraits. Here I select uh, my color that I will use, uh, like random. I really like green, so I decided to use that green color. But in the later, you see that I choose colors by subject. And shortly you will see how well this erase because I noticed that the I draw nose too high, so I needed to move it down, and I will erase the whole nose and move it down, and it really like disappears and it's easily to erase. And I also found that these Prismacolor col erase erases that they have is really good for these pens. And this point I noticed that I drew lips really very badly, so I started to draw lips. And he here I choose the red color because leaves are usually red, and that makes my like sense. And then I use mirror and was it my own lips and try to draw them as realistic as possible. Uh, I also like to keep uh, color these colored drawings a monochrome, so I use only one color. But uh, red and blue goes really well together if you use black blue for shadows. But here I use it only one color per page. And as you can see, when I jump to the next page, I start to draw eyes and I begin the blue pencil. Uh, the sad thing about, about Prisma colors it, is it they are really hard to get here in Europe, and I haven't found them anywhere. And even if I try to order them online, they will come from uh, USA, and it often means huge taxes and uh, customs and things like that and often Amazon don't even deliver to Finland where I live. 
But if you feel that you don't make that much mis mistakes when you draw, you can use normal uh, color pencils, pencils just fine. But they often are really hard to erase and I have like polychromos that don't feel like they don't erase at all. And one tip is that if you really want to look for the, these kind of erasable colored pencils, uh, look for kids section because I know that Fieber Castle and Stadler that are European makers have those colored pencils that are meant for kids and they have erasers at the top like these Prisma color colorizers have. But I haven't found those in Finland, so I don't know what quality they are. But Pilot Colorino are really easy to get. They, you can order them, them straight from Japan or China from eBay. Uh, here in Finland there's also uh, pencils that are meant for teachers, where there is red on one end and blue pencil in other end. And I have found that those are too erasable, so they may be good al alternatives but they have no eraser built in. So that was all, why, all that I had today. So thanks for watching and hope you see you next video. Bye!